What's up, everybody? This is a Growing Up Italian podcast. Rocco is tight because that's how I always start it. Yeah, same thing. Same thing every time. <laughs> that's my groove, man. But uh, we got a special podcast for you today. Holiday Foods with the newly engaged couple. <laughs> Brooklyn Bites, Giuseppe and Sabrina. Hello, Hi. everyone. I want to start by congratulating you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Big congratulations. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Such an amazing couple. Aww. Love the food. We love the food. Folks. I love that uh, Giuseppe got it done with before the holidays. Oh, yeah. And I wasn't taking gonna... any chances. I wasn't going to take away from Christmas, New Year's Eve, New Year's He's Day. He's not going to nah. sneak attack. And nope. No. Shock you know, everyone. Put in the panettone. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, man, that's that's awesome. Thank you. Thank we were just you. talking now before we started that. First thing I said was like the food better be good at that one. <laughs> yeah, coming from on. foodies, you know. I'm even hearing it from everyone. My even my aunt in Italy, she's like, nah, the food better be good. She, as she said, no figura di merda. And I was like, nah, we won't. Yeah, but we won't. whoever like questions the food, just say porta boost. Uh, <laughs> no, no, fifty hundred dollars. None of that Mickey Mouse stuff around here. No, no, big. Of course, if they bring you a toaster or something. Oh, my God. I know. Right? No, they could bring them to the shower. That'll be nice. <laughs> to the shower, that's good. All food stuff, though. Yeah. <laughs> they got to buy what's on your, uh, what is it called? Registry. Not, registry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They got to follow rules because yeah. we don't want four or five toasters. <laughs> that's all Sabrina right there. Yeah. I was about yeah. to say that. She'll <laughs> take care of all that. <laughs> it's funny because, yeah, in Italy, for the weddings, they bring actual, like, things that you would bring to the shower. And over yeah, here, exactly. it's to the they better not. They better not bring anything no. like that. I don't need no forks or knives. I already <laughs> bought that myself already. We got. We got to cover. Uh, we got to cover the bases here. You know. Uh huh. You got to cover that nut. <laughs> Thirty grand for. Oh my god. Damn, that's gonna be the big beating right there. It's an expensive <laughs> Christmas for you, Jose. Okay, right. So let me here. let me ask you guys. How how did he do it? So um, basically, he said that. On that Saturday, we we're going to go to brunch. He actually, in the middle of the week, said, why don't we ever go to brunch? And I mm-hmm. said, because you don't like going to brunch. And I'm like, oh, let's go. Yeah. yeah. He's like, he actually doesn't like it because he thinks that it takes away from breakfast and lunch. Because yeah. he likes to have brunch. two separate meals. Because yeah, like, yeah, then, I'm, then what is it? Like 11 o'clock, you yeah. go for brunch. Then it's like, all right, just skip lunch now. Now I got to wait for dinner to eat. And then dinner comes and you still feel full <laughs> from lunch, breakfast, whatever it's called, brunch. And then I'm like, nah, I hate brunch. But, so when he brought it up, I was like, like uh, I don't know, because you don't like it. So he's like, no, let's go for a nice brunch on Saturday. You know, the weather's going to be nice. So that's how he started it off. And then um, the next day, I think it was, he he does the social media for a cooking school. So he was he said that um, he we got invited to yeah. meet like these famous chefs at this class that they mm-hmm. were hosting. So um, he said, like, really well-known Daniel chefs Blue, were going to like, be oh, there. Daniel Blue's going to be there. We and that we really the love him. And we were watching, like, the Netflix thing with Aaron Blue Door. And so he, I think you said he was going to be there. Yeah, so he told me, like, dress nice. Um, it's going to be a really nice event. Um, we can't show up with, like, jeans and sneakers, blah, blah, blah. So that's yeah, how. That yeah, so yeah. Up. She fell for it. Yeah. And then, like, her cousin brought her out on, when was it? So it was Saturday, so Thursday. They, she was like, make sure my nails are done. Uh, yeah, I mean, I yeah, gave him warnings no. like in like previous months. I'm like, whenever you do, you have to make sure my nails are done. So how and you, how'd you manage to get your nails done, or manage to make her good? Well, honestly, it was like it was luck. I was like kind of glad yeah. that your cousin came around. I was mm-hmm. like, oh, why don't we go get my nails done? Backtrack right. one second. Too. Yeah. Did you ask permission? Sorry. Yeah. Well, I asked the dad, and the, uh, actually, it was funny. I asked the dad, and the biggest problem was telling her mom. Because the mom will can't cry keep a over yeah, she everything. Can't keep a she can't keep a secret. <laughs> no offense, but she can't. So even your dad was like, nope, not telling her. We'll tell her that morning. Mm-hmm. So we wanted to like do like a little surprise party at the house. So your afterwards. mom. Afterwards. Mm-hmm. Afterwards. Yeah. Mom found out 10 a.m. that morning. Like when I left the house, that's when my dad was like, by the way, we're having people over for lunch. Oh and my, my mom was yeah. like, why? I have to clean the house. <laughs> He was like, well, you know, like yeah. Sabrina's friends. Giuseppe's giving her the ring, and like oh, that, li- like casually. Casual. Um, crazy and she was like, cool. what? And then she called like my aunts, and everybody already knew. Like she yeah, was the last know. person to know. Mm-hmm. I was like, nope, we're not yeah. taking that chance. And she started crying the day after. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, <laughs> so emotional. Yeah. Oh yeah, so, forget it. Yeah. yeah. So then that day, um, he was saying that we have time to kill because our brunch ended at like eleven thirty, and then we didn't have to be to meet these chefs at 1.30. So he's like, let's go to the Brooklyn Promenade. Uh, they're going to close for six years. So, like, we've never been there. Oh, yeah? Let's go. Yeah, because yeah, they're doing work. construction finally on the BQE. 
then mm. they want to try to expand it. I don't know how. All right, that's gonna so be interesting. They should. They're like, I mean, I've it. seen they change that whole little area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was beautiful. I've never been there. Yeah, well, no, I've never I don't been know there if you've either. Been there. And it was, we went. And it actually, was freezing. I hate it was cold. the cold. So I was like, I don't know how I'm going to get Sabrina to, you know, actually stay there <laughs> for more than five minutes. She'll even think it's cold when it's yeah, 15 like degrees outside. Yeah, like it was, it was yeah. freezing. So her cousins were there. They were already in position. They had the Incognito. cameras Incognito. <laughs> oh, did, you didn't see them? No, I didn't no. see them. And she texted yeah, me. She was, right. she was mm-hmm. like, <laughs> we're here. And I, she's like, but the car is like pretty much it's close by. So we were passing by where I was supposed to walk. And I didn't know exactly where they were. So I go to Sabrina. I'm like. Sabrina, what did Atletico Madrid do? I don't remember. <laughs> and she looks down on her phone as we passed by, and I sped down with the car. Because like, I noticed everything. I would have yeah, noticed. She, but then she was like, but they played at 7 in the morning. You didn't realize that they played at 7 in the morning? I was like, no, nah, I just forgot. I forgot. Found the spot, thank God, which was right up the block. It was freezing. The it wind was, was so crazy. Cold. But there was not even a cloud in the sky, which I was happy about that. We got there, and there was these two people. <laughs> they were standing right next to us. And I'm like, all right. This is like I had the text. I'll flip it when there. I was like, just let me know to the cousins. What? Let me know when you guys are ready, and then I'll just propose. And she was like, go. And I saw my Fitbit, and I'm like, all right, I gotta wait a little while because mm-hmm. I got these two people right here. And then finally, I was like, all right, you know what? It's I'm gonna do it. No, no, no. no. But, Excuse me. I'm like, about to propose. <laughs> No, I don't remember. I, honestly, I don't remember how it happened. Well, I was like, let's take a selfie. Yeah. And I literally was about to turn around to take a selfie with the city in the mm-hmm. background. He was like, no, 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 let's just look at the view for a second. Because if I would have turned around, I would have saw my cousins like right there. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So then I, all I remember was like, I said, Sabby. And she goes, Sabby. I hate that nickname. Like that's my why. least favorite I nickname. Why? Why'd you say that? <laughs> <laughs> well, See, again. that could have been me or Sabrina. <laughs> like Sabine. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just happened. And I honestly don't remember the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Sabrina was like, she just remember hands on her face. <laughs> oh my gosh. She know? I shocked. did. I was shocked because I couldn't believe like it was actually happening. Right, right. But, but none of that, like the whole day you did not expect it. No, all. I didn't expect it to be that day. I knew it was coming sooner or later, but I didn't know that it was going to be like that day. Yeah. So. I mean, it was a perfect day, up. like the weather wise and everything, the background, the pictures. I just took the chance. Like the first weekend in December, that was nice. I, I was like, I'm just going to do it, despite it being 30 degrees that day. Mm-hmm. And then I was I was actually going to do it the 15th, I think, which was this, this past, past Saturday. Yeah. And it was such a terrible day. And I was like, I'm so glad <laughs> that I just did it when I did it. Yeah, I was uh, like, I don't care. Mm-hmm. Not Were you nervous chance. throughout this? Oh, yeah, I was nervous. <laughs> I woke up like three times in the morning. I woke up 2.30, 4.30, then 6.30. And I just, I was like, I'm just going to stay You didn't have good sleep at all. Not at all. And then just to get that ring, like it was like a whole process. And hiding it from hiding someone it. you care about. So I had the jacket on me. I, when we were at the place, I went to the bathroom three times. I was telling Sabrina. Make sure check it was out. Yeah. Sure. And then the last time, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go with my jacket in there. Because I had it in my jacket, the box, and the zipper. So I wanted the jackets with the zippers. Right, that's smart. So um, I went to the bathroom. I was like, oh, I went to the bathroom. But to be honest, I kind of forgot to do be warm. So I'll be right back. Went back in the bathroom, took the box out of the zipper, out of my jacket, switched them with my wallet, put my wallet back inside my jacket. That's just paranoia right there. And then I was like, all right, it looks like a wallet now, so we're good. And she didn't even catch There up. were like so many hints I should have caught though. Like when we went back in the car, he put his jacket in the trunk. I'm like, it's 30 degrees yeah, like, outside. What are you I was doing? Like, no, you know when it's like too hot in the <laughs> car when you have like all these layers on, you put the heat on like, yeah. like 304. Mm-hmm. And I was like, nah, nah. She's like, too okay, hot. weirdo. Yeah, yeah, literally. I was like, okay, you're weird. So, yeah. I'm, glad awesome, I'm, just... I'm really happy for you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> now the hard part begins. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Got a lot to look forward to, though. Yeah, that's, uh, that's true. It's a beautiful process. <laughs> Thank you. And a headache, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. I can't say no to anything. I was just like, yep, yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. You get right used to it, man. Yeah. Like, right yeah. to the groove of that. <laughs> whatever. Whatever you want. That's fine. I'm just going to relax, though. <laughs> so, with the holidays coming up, you know, obviously Christmas, Christmas Eve, I think Christmas Eve is like the bigger holiday, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. especially like in an Italian household. I agree. Like, especially our like families like crazy on Christmas Eve. Mm-hmm. I love Christmas Eve more than Christmas. Yeah, I'm I do be too. Honest. The, the yes, tradition, indeed. the food, and I, I don't know if you guys as well do it, but on Christmas Eve, we open up gifts. Yeah, we used we to do it too. Christmas morning, right. but my 
That was something that in Italy, a lot of people do it on the eve of Christmas. Yeah. I like the eve to open gifts better. Yeah. One thing, I don't even know if this is like a thing a lot of families do, but our family, like that's the day you could teach my look. Really? Yeah. Really? No, I that's never heard of life. that. Oh, we got to go to their house for Christmas Eve. I'm really <laughs> surprised how many people come to Because you're only allowed to learn the phrase till midnight, right? Yeah, it's weird. What? Only that day till midnight, you have to learn the Moloch here. And like, that's so funny. The younger cousin's like, oh, how do you do? How you doing? Oh, you gotta wait till Christmas Eve. Oh my God. So it's like something like that you're looking forward to, I guess. So let's say it's a phrase, right? Mm -hmm. And like our aunts write it down and I like write it down and I like memorize it. It's been like eight Christmases. I'm trying to memorize it. (laughs) But you have to like memorize this phrase and then say it in your head. So it's like, let's say when someone gives you an evil eye, mm-hmm. you say this thing and it protects you. Oh my it's God. We need that. It's weird. No, I we, mean, I actually do believe in Malakio. You think so? Yeah, I there believe in Malakio. Times it. when I say I have a headache mm-hmm. and my mom will be doing it and then she'll just like start burping. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is going on? Getting rid, like, of the, getting rid of it. Getting rid of the... The, oh my god, god that's so believe funny believe in my luck only when it's time to travel somewhere yeah. and you don't want people to know it's right. like I know what you don't tell them right? now, you're gonna yeah. t- now you're gonna make my plane be delayed like mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. the entire four, five, six hours even like weather wise weather, every time it. it's like bad weather I'm like and someone knows it's like an event or something I'm like it's a little kill like somebody for is our, like jealous for our, for our wedding when that day comes I'm expecting it to snow in June yeah <laughs> <laughs> I know it's gonna snow six first time ever <laughs> hey at least it'll be historic <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> All right, so do you guys do the seven fishes on a? Uh, I do in my house. We don't count, don't. but we only eat fish. Like fish. my grandmother doesn't even let me eat meat the entire day. Right, I think that's how we do it too. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I don't know if we have just, seven. Yeah, I mean, I know just in the seafood side, there's about eight different. Kinds yeah, of that's yeah. how. I... Yeah, like we don't eat meat at all, so it's like all fish, all mostly this, fish. This might sound disappointing, but our grandma was like the most strict with no meat on mm-hmm. Christmas Eve. But the last couple of years, she actually made like chicken, right? Yeah, really? Wow. Chicken mm-hmm. call it because because uh, the kids like don't like. Right? I, I yeah. eat some kind of fish. Like, oh. Right, calamari. Yeah. Can't really consider that. Yeah, yeah, I feel like that's like the fish everyone who doesn't <laughs> like fish. I eat. can't eat. I can't eat like the fish with the head and the tongue sticking. Oh man, no, we don't have that. We have like calamari. We have like shrimp, like fish salad. So yeah, my yeah. grandma's like bacala that's like six too. fishes. Bacala, yeah, definitely. Bacala is nasty though. I don't like bacala. Watch bacala fourteen times. Yeah. Now, what is it? This week that they start like soaking yeah, it, soaking, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You gotta soak it and like the funny thing is the butcher shop across the street. Shout out to Emily's. They have bacala like out and like it's salted bacala yeah. out in the open. I'm oh just, like, my god! This stinks. Oh, oh wow, that's yeah. crazy. Oh, man. Bacala is not for me, but it, it makes yeah. me wonder. Like, let's say forty years from now, if we would kind of, we would do that kind of thing. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, know. I definitely I would do the fish on stuff. Christmas Eve. Like grandma, like grandma, grandma, no, no, I don't think I would. Do I don't even know how to make it. No, we don't do tripe. I don't like tripe. I like tripe. I like anything. Yeah, he eats everything. We're out of time. We're supposed to promote like the Italian culture. Like, I don't know if I could genuinely do that. Our does the Eel. Really? Yeah, our grandma does oh, the gizzards. Wow. Tone, right? wow. Gizzards in general. Not really? Even seven, wow. I know I'm getting a little off topic here, yeah. but... No, yeah. She I like mean, they back then they wasted nothing. Wow, so, that's awesome. Bro. Anything that I mean, it doesn't I don't think good. I would ever cook any of that uh, on yeah. my end. Like four like, <laughs> years from now, uh-huh. that's what scares me. If I don't have that desire, I know. Then like, where, what like, happens to the generation? Entire population, like eighty percent, probably right, won't right. do it. That's mm-hmm. the and then problem. like bacala is probably going to become like a specialty in a restaurant. Yeah, like, codfish or something. Yeah. yeah, it's called codfish too. Yes. Though. A lot of people call it codfish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just not for me. I think we do like more the basics, like. The yeah. clams, the shrimp, oh, the calamari, yeah. 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 Clams? Oh my god! Yep. You literally like you could just eat like ten at a time. Yeah. You guys like oysters, like raw oysters? No, I don't. Do you? So and so. Yeah, yeah, I never had it, so I wouldn't really. I had oysters once. They're not bad. I don't like like the texture of them. I like it. Yeah, I'm like a texture person. Yeah. I don't like them. It's like a sauce on top. Yeah. I don't know how people put Tabasco sauce on yeah. there. Yeah. To reach their own, I guess. But yeah. How about uh, how about lentils on New Year's? Oh, uh, oh. I mean, I love lentils, but actually, it's weird. We don't. My we grandma don't still does it. I'm just not. My home. Like, We're just it. usually yeah. not home on New Year's. Yeah, it's <laughs> the saying, at least in our family. Good luck, right? Same. The more you eat, the the richer you'll be. Or yeah. The more, the more successful you'll be in that year. Maybe this year oh, we shit. need to do. <laughs> we have so. to save up for the wedding. So. <laughs> yeah. You guys better, you guys better make lentils. Uh, yeah. And have cups of it. We need to hold together bowls. Morning from no, but yeah, it's definitely dinner. it's definitely a tradition. Like we're usually not home for New Year's Eve, but my grandmother still does it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, 
we come from this Italian family that really doesn't drink that much, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> our family doesn't drink at all. Mm-hmm. But this year is going to be different because I have this new cocktail. And I'm actually going to make it for you guys, too. Oh, God. Uh, I don't know if I trust you. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Right. I'm interested. So, I'm into it. It's going to be Fabrizia's Limoncello, blood orange flavor, mm. wow, with a little good. vodka and fermented strawberries with limoncello and vodka wow. and tonic water. Wow. I'm going to make it for you guys. Mm-hmm. I feel like every time we get together, we review something. Yeah, of right. course, we have we, to. We, gotta review this. <laughs> we, gotta review some we have to. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I trust them, though. It sounds them. very refreshing. <laughs> And I love me some limoncello. <laughs> Honestly, true. I'm like the type that... You, you ever get the little shot of limoncello? Mm-hmm. I'm the type that'll just like not ever drink that. Really? I, just, I can't down Same it. Here. Well, I yeah, he's, he's like that too. But if it's mixed with something, then I'll have it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just... Remember when... The in Sorrento. Sorrento? Oh, I never yeah. forget when we went to Sorrento. A bunch of like the shops there and everything. They're known for their lemon. They had like there. all these like little samples and everything. Yeah. I went to the one with the food though. <laughs> yeah, he like, did. The cookies, the chocolate. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, you just, and it tastes so good. Anything infused with limoncello, I love it. Yeah, if you want to like really pregame in Sorrento, yeah. just go like store to store. They all have limoncello yeah. samples. Like you take one for each. Now, why is that? Is it like a very competitive product? They're Italy, just known just for like, their lemons in the Amalfi yeah, Coast. Why. It's weird. I think the the, the the I don't know what's it called. The I think their fruit fertile, is just is just lemon. There. Yeah. And they so, just make limoncello out of lemons. Well. <laughs> like, we saw lemons, like, literally the size of, like, yeah. oh, my God, they were so lemon. big. Me, too. Yeah, it's just, like, I don't know, like I said, straight Ooh, up. Ooh, that, that looks good. That looks pretty good. Wow. You're going to make well, this on uh, Christmas? So, B, when you take a seat, just tell us what you got. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, I'll repeat it again. Those are, those are pretty solid, though. I'm not going to lie. It, it looks, does. Looks very I like how you put the glasses in the freezer. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's like, the thing you need to do. Thank you. Thank you. As we say, you got one? Yeah, I got one right here. The little salute. Salute. Salute, salute to salute. this beautiful couple. Oh, thank you. Best of luck. Thank, thank you. you. Merry and Christmas. happy holiday. Happy and Merry, Merry Christmas. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Actually, I'm not even saying that because we're drinking mm-hmm. right now. Wow. That's actually pretty refreshing. It's atomic water that does it, man. Wow. You didn't let us up. It's really I'm good. I'm going to hire you as a bartender now. I know. <laughs> you At your wedding, no? Yeah. There you go. I'll be making right, these. So what's in here? What do you got? So, I put a shot of Grey Goose, a shot of uh, the Fabrizia's Limoncello, blood orange flavor, tonic water, and the strawberries were sitting in the Limoncello and the Grey Goose as well for a couple hours. I like I like the so blood orange. be careful orange. eating this fruit. Oh, like yeah. <laughs> twist. <laughs> Someone be driving home. <laughs> So I've never really, had a limoncello with blood orange. That's so unique. Yeah, that's why. That's good. why I had to make a cocktail mm-hmm. with that one. Yeah. Goodness. And honestly, I'm looking forward to trying that uh, cream flavor. Oh yeah, I love cream. cream. I'm bring that to you guys so you can enjoy it with your family. Oh, anything, thank you. Anything cream, like I love Bailey's. So yeah. Anything cream is just. But fun exactly out, so why I, I, I made this drink because, like he just said, Bailey's. That's what our family drinks. Like limoncello, yeah. mm-hmm. Bailey's. Does that really count as like? <laughs> Alcohol, technically. Do you guys drink Amaro del Capo? That's what, yeah, that's that's what our dads, nah. that's all they drink. Nah, can't do it. <laughs> I can't, but yeah, it's right? literally like a grown well, man that drink. That makes you go hair on your chest, <laughs> let me tell you. Can't do it. What about the borscht? You ever saw the yeah, borscht? Yeah. Um, that's, that's my dad grew up drinking that stuff. Oh Sambuca? my god! You guys like Sambuca? No, I don't. Sambuca with, I think with, with coffee, coffee right? with espresso, oh, yeah. yeah. That I like. And is that? Mm, yeah. Oh, oh my god! Now we're talking. <laughs> that's how our family drinks. Yeah. Though, like, that's like the Italian stuff. Yeah. But like I've seen other people's families that they get hammered. Mm-hmm. Like I don't no problem. That. My family doesn't drink at all. My family's the same way. Just wine, mm-hmm. though. Just wine. Yeah, yeah, just wine. Just wine. Then if yeah. you drink anything that doesn't look like wine, they look at you with ten heads like, yeah. what's wrong with you? Imagine I bust this one out. On oh, the, my God. Christmas you should make, like, really like, pictures. Like it, yeah. They yeah. probably yeah. would. Like, especially, like, after dinner. I can see yeah. that. Or, yeah, like, as an so appetizer. Before yeah, before dinner. This yeah. is, like, honestly, this is appetizer. I feel like this is, like, an all-season kind of It is. It is. This is yeah. actually, I think this would be really nice in the springtime. Yeah. yeah. So you could even do, like, well, cranberries instead of strawberries. Well, honestly, when I was making this, Miguel was like, how are you going to use strawberries? I'm like, <laughs> how can you not? I love like, strawberries. Like, all seasons. Like, blueberries yeah. or raspberries. I'm like, nah, nah. Strawberries I love strawberries. Yeah. Very good. 
absorbs it well too. It's funny because I was just talking to him today. Every day I have a new thing about this wedding. So I'm like, we should make a signature <laughs> drink. Yes, and I was telling him we should make like a limoncello signature drink. And I thought it's, it's so funny. funny. She, she yeah. did say that right yeah. before we started. Hey, there you go. Yeah. That's yeah. funny. Mm-hmm. Now you got the drink. Right? Yeah. Fabrizio, you got to sponsor this wedding. Right? You could sponsor it. <laughs> um, this is good. I like it. Mm-hmm. You know what else uh, I wanted to bring up? Since we're talking about the holidays and everything. Like every year... I feel like the world's been getting softer, like that I've been alive. I feel like <laughs> more, more emotional, like more sensitive. Oh. Like sensitive. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm interested in this topic. Yeah. So <laughs> you got me talking. So, <laughs> what's up with baby? It's cold outside. Oh my bed? god! Like, I mean, all right, first of all, what's your well, take? I'll, I'll yeah. Take, I'll <laughs> So when I first listened to the song, I had no idea what the hell it meant. I just liked it. I was watching the movie Elf. I was like, right, it's cool. Yeah, all right. And then I started paying attention to the lyrics. I was like, wow, this kind of sounds kind of, kind of sounds a little weird, you know? He's telling her not to go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's kind of staying. Kind of feels forced. I get it, but at the same time, leave it alone. Let it be. It's been it's been with us for how long? How many years? Nineteen forty. They Come said. On. I know. I know it's a different world then, but like. I, that's what I hate when people have to twist mm-hmm. things. The one thing I'm yeah. saying that I would want to say is that this Christmas song is much worse than that. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I saw Mommy kissing Santa No, they're Claus. bringing that up now. Yeah, that's, of like, course. the new yeah, thing. Now, now you're going to get that one again, too. What the about? one I hate is Grandma Got Run Over by a oh, Reindeer yeah, because that's, that's so depressing to me. So yeah, me yeah. too. Oh, <laughs> all the all the old bundles now they gotta come out. Oh my! They gotta be like, this is offensive to me. Now. This can't be on the radio. Yes. No now I'm a threat to Grandma. Right? Another one too. Though. Oh ho ho ho! I don't know that one. Which one? Oh no, that's. They <laughs> <laughs> said Rudolph was the other one that oh, like they're. Oh yeah, they did. Mm-hmm. Which one? Rudolph the red nosed reindeer. reindeer. Oh. They were like singling them out. Because they said bullying. Yeah. Yeah. uh, See what I'm saying though? Like, let certain things breathe. Yeah. And what about Santa Claus now? Yeah, being. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. That's crazy. (laughs) Something I saw on Twitter, Mm -hmm. and don't quote me on this, Mm -hmm. but they're saying the media is doing that on purpose so people can talk about it. Hmm. It's like a good platform for them to build on. So they'll come up with some BS statistic. Yeah. So I can see that. So we could talk about it and publicize it more for the media itself. Yeah, what do they say? Like, all press true. is good press, no yeah, matter what. So. I could see yeah. that, honestly. Because really, Santa Claus is Saint Nick. So yeah. What are you going to make? Santa Nick? Like, <laughs> Nick? like I don't understand. And then what about, like, Mrs. Claus? Like, an actual person. Yeah. It's Saint Nick. This doesn't yeah. make sense. Yeah, they're not seeing that aspect of it. Right. People just want it a certain way. Mm-hmm. That's it. And the funny thing is, probably, like, a really small percentage of the world that wants that. Yeah, yeah. but they're like making that, it, like, like huge... 8,000 people in Minnesota disagree. Like, like, 8,000 out of like the billions yeah, of people. Yeah. Listen, to each their own, I guess, but. I don't know. Yeah, that's whack. Yeah. I, I don't know what to say. No matter what you do, and you see it on the Instagram page, I was just Yeah, there's Twitter. There's always going to be somebody mm-hmm. that's like, there's always okay, someone. Like, are you kidding me with this post? Yeah. Never there was that, that whole thing today with the Italian? Holland Tunnel. Did well, you see that with the Holland Tunnel? That, oh, um, uh-huh. so the Holland Tunnel. They, I guess they decorate for Christmas, but they put like a wreath or a Christmas decoration. Yeah, yeah and and like they're like OCD people are like going crazy. Which like if you see it, it I does like it was, drive you honestly, crazy. Honestly, I thought it was ridiculous that the actual no, they transit... put like I'll show it to you after, but they put like a wreath you know why, over the A. Yeah, the other stuff matched perfect. Yeah, yeah. so it was like that was like the. No, it, it bothered yeah. me though. I thought it was yeah. ridiculous at first that even the transit, yeah, was it, New York the City? port authority like port put a poll saying like, should we move it? <laughs> and they actually like listen to the people and mm-hmm. like they change. I mean, at first it's like, wow, it sounds ridiculous. But then when you look at it, it really does me drive nuts. you crazy. Right. Oh my God, I mean, yeah, bad. on the end, I think it was. It was on the yeah, end on instead the of like the A. Yeah. Well, at least they listened. Yeah. But I think it probably, it probably made people go see it. For yeah, exactly. So. It's a publicity nice stunt. right there. Yep, there you go. <laughs> it's true. Oh, or walking traffic, wherever. It is. Yeah, true. <laughs> Whatever yeah, floats your boat. Exactly. If, um, uh, if this is your first podcast listening, with Brooklyn Bites at least, because you guys haven't been on since the summertime, right? No, since yeah. we came back from Italy. So it's been a while. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping we have new followers mm-hmm. and new listeners, but... Just to introduce who you guys are, yeah, is 
you yeah, know, they, tell, tell the fans a little bit about yourselves this way they, they could peek into your Instagram profile or whatever else you have. Yeah, um, you wanna go? I'll go. I mean, <laughs> it started out a few years back and uh, pretty much what started out in just Brooklyn as going to different restaurants and pitches we had turned into something much bigger and now we're going to different restaurants maybe three to five times a week. Um, trying different restaurants, different cuisines, but not no longer in Brooklyn. Five boroughs, also Long Island, sometimes in Jersey. Italy. Um, Italy. <laughs> um, I mean, we've met a lot of incredible people. Um, I mean, it's just, it's amazing, honestly, what it's gone down to now. I would have never in a million years mm-hmm. expected to be where we are today. <laughs> right, Brie? Yes. Um, it's just a fun thing. We like recommending restaurants to whoever followers to our audience um and we like giving the restaurants a chance to get a new audience because sometimes Mm -hmm. without social media i feel like they're you know not being exposed to these amazing restaurants that people might just like pass by with the car or walk by and then nobody really goes in and tries them out so it's awesome to have a platform to do that for the restaurant and then also for the audience to find new maybe their new favorite restaurant Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. I love what you guys are doing. <laughs> Thank and you. One thing I noticed recently, I'm not sure if it was over the summer, but it, you were taking little recommendations from your fans. Yes. <laughs> it was like, all right, what's oh, yeah. the best donut spot? And mm-hmm. then you guys went there and then yes. like, recorded and got some feedback. So I'm sure they appreciate that. Mm-hmm. That's really cool that you guys Yeah, it was that. cool. We did that with pizza and with cannolis. Um, and we actually discovered some new places. Uh, like Fortunatos, we never had been yeah, there before. Been there. Oh my god, Shout our out feed! To yes, yes, they're awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> with oh my god, our feed got like flooded with Fortunatos. You gotta go there. You gotta really? go there. So it was pretty awesome. You know what's funny about this it episode out. is I wanted to get a tray of cookies from them and put it on the table for the holidays, just because like, you know, a big thing we didn't talk about about the holidays too is how much cookies and oh, sweets yeah. we make like mm-hmm. stuffy. Panettone, mm-hmm. like, oh, do you believe in the panettone hype or no? Uh, it depends. I like the one without the raisins. I like the pandoro better than pandoro. the panettone. You don't like the one with the raisins? No. Uh, I mean, I'll eat it, but that's my favorite one. Really? You know, I like yeah. the pandoro with the powdered the sugar. sugar. Yeah. <laughs> and you shake it around mm. the bag. The one with the chocolate in the middle, though. That's that good. It's actually, uh, speaking of brunch, I know you guys, especially Giuseppe, doesn't like <laughs> oh, boy. I think he's going to like it yeah. now. That he got engaged. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. Yeah. There's a place in Williamsburg that makes uh, panetton French toast. Oh, oh wow. wow. Where? It's What's it called? Uh, <laughs> Julietta's, I think. Ooh, Julietta's. good to I gotta know. ask my sister the name, but yeah. I saw it on the menu. Wow. That sounds, that's very unique. See, like, that's how you gotta, like, utilize that panetton. Because, mm-hmm. you know, how it comes <laughs> with a big bag. You yeah, the sugar, shake it mm-hmm. up. I think my cool. aunt makes bun- like homemade bun and really? French toast. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Mm-hmm. Some Nutella, for some yeah, I mean Nutella, Nutella with everything. I just everything. Mm-hmm. just plain. Like, yeah, what yeah. good is it? It's just plain, no powder. I like the there. chocolate, in it, but sometimes they jip you, like the ones that. Oh, they yeah. <laughs> sometimes there'll be one like slice so much chocolate, and the other one nothing. That's like the cornetto. So sometimes. sometimes, yeah, you get a nice one. Oh my god, yeah. You bite the other side. There's a little nothing in there. Yeah. I, no. think, I think the struffle is uh, overrated, though. Really? You like struffle? Honestly, me too. I'm not. Like, I'm it's not like crazy whatever. Like, like after you eat it, 